everybody, welcome in to Rock Painting 101 today. If you're joining in for the first time, thanks for joining in. If you're joining me for the 5th, 10th, 20th, I don't even know how many videos we've done time. Thanks for coming back. I'm quickly just adding a little ground here. I pre-coated my rock with some blue and now I'm going in with some grass. I wanted to do a fairly simple video today. I have both kids home, which sometimes is harder than having one kid home. So they are hopefully going to behave, but we'll see how that goes. It is live, so be on standby that I might have to jump into mom mode. <laughs> but just get that green taken care of. We're gonna just do a very simple little tulip design here. Tulips are one of my favorite flowers for spring. So thought I must not be the only one that love, love, loves them. And I've got a really simple way to draw a tulip. It's kind of like a cheater method I learned a long, long time ago. And so what I've got here is just a light and a dark of each color. Um, now, if you can get the big pack of 1Ms, these colors come in that size as well. I have the next size up because I ordered mine separately and that's just the sizes that it came with. So the trick to drawing a simple tulip is to start with the letter Y. So you just wanna give yourself a letter Y wherever you want your tulip to be. Just like that. Plain and simple letter Y. And then you add a little mountain top in the middle like that. And then you're gonna take your edges up and draw the letter U underneath. And that simple, you have the basic tulip shape. I think I probably learned that little trick in art class a really long time ago. But just that easily, you've got your outline of your tulip. Now, if you want your tulip to be more bloomed, after you've got your basic outline, you just come back in here and you add a little curl the longer a tulip has been open, the more it starts to curl out to the edges. You can add that as well. And then we're just gonna go in with our second lighter color and fill it in. I was using these last night, so they should still be pretty, yeah. And you can go right up to the edges because I like to do a coat of the inside and then go right back with my fine tip to give those edges. Again, so just like that. And I'm gonna have this come up a little further and we'll add a little bit more of the dark purple on the edge, just like that. So go ahead and just fill it in all the way. And if you pull some of that purple from the edge, that's okay. It gives it a little variation. The flowers are very rarely a, a completely solid color anyways. So just go right back at it with your dark while it's still wet and you'll get a couple little streaks of the color just like that and we've got our little tulip and for tulip stems they're usually very straight they kind of shoot right up out of the ground so do your best to do a nice straight line going down to your grass and I start with my uh, darker green and then their leaves come up right from the bottom they're pretty pointed you can do a couple per tulip if you want. You can do one, just depends on how many you're drawing. And then I'm gonna go right back with my lighter green and do the other side of the stem, kind of give it a little bit of a highlight. Do a little bit of the inside of these leaves and then we're gonna go right back with our dark again. And while I've got this out, I'm gonna just add a few little light pieces of grass in here and we'll go back with our dark green on that area too. And I've got some areas where my tulips are breaking up out of the ground. They've, they're they really as confused as I am of whether or not it's going to be spring soon here or not. It also has some iris leaves that are sticking out and poking. Irises are a little bit trickier though to, to color. Go like that. And see on this one, I kind of added a few longer pieces of, of grass. You know, sometimes you've got some pretty little pieces coming in and out. You know, so you just add whatever comes off the tip of your pen. A couple little things here and there. 
And we're gonna do another one here because we've got the space. So I'm gonna do a second one here, especially a couple people might have just been joining in a little bit later. So we're gonna do the same thing except for pink this time. We're gonna give our tulip a friend. I didn't quite have enough space on this first rock to give him or her friend. There we go. Let me, oh, I didn't even refresh my screen. Sorry, I see the comments coming up. Sorry, it's hard to see them where I keep my phone overhead while I'm painting. So I'll refresh the screen and check for questions and stuff too here before we start this pink one. There we go. Okay, we're good. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Linda. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our second Y. So just your basic shape. Oop, this one's a little... If you ever go to draw and it doesn't seem like the paint's flowing, just tap a few times, get that that tip. Sorry, this is a, see my little note, spring wreath? And get that tip flowing. Because the paint should come out nice and smooth. See the difference there, how much more smooth that came out? So we're going to make our Y, like so. And then a mountain top in the middle. There we go, you make sure your Ys are out to the side as far as you want. And then a U shape underneath. This rock is a little lumpy, you can kind of hear it. If your rock is lumpy, try not to press down super hard. Um, that will cause these pens to kind of splatter sometimes. So don't draw hard. You can always go back over your spot with another line if you want. And if you angle the pen just slightly, that will help the paint flow too without splattering. So we've got our outline, and I think this is a different color pink than what I maybe used on that first one. Maybe not. Let's see here. And this is a very light pastel. These are those pastel. I just love this color set for spring. And I have the pastels separate if you um, go on the link. The pastels are separate, or as I mentioned before, you can get them in the smaller size too. If you buy the giant 1M pack, it comes with these pretty pastel colors in there as well. So let me go ahead and fill it in. And then I'm going to redo my edge just a smidge here on a couple spots. Just like that. There we go. And we got to give them a stem. They can't just hang out floating in midair. So again, straight line down. We have very straight stems. And a couple leaves that come up from the ground. Then we'll go in with our light to add some variation in the color. And you can do these any color that you like. There are so many kinds of tulips out there. You can get really, really creative with these. So, I mean, you could make a rock full of, you know, 10 different tulips going along. There's endless color combinations that you could do. And if you get in here while they're wet, you could really blend the edges as well. Today, I just really wanted to give a nice little simple tulip design because Flowers can be intimidating for some people, but this is one that I think anybody can do. If you just follow that, you know, your Y, your mountain peak, and then the U underneath, you'll easily be able to accomplish a little tulip like this. And these are just really fun for spring. And I know just based on all the comments from before, everybody seems to be ready for spring just like me. So if you do something like this, you could add a little, you know, butterfly flying around, whatever you want. Make it your own or make it just like this. But if you make one, make sure you come back and share in the comments below because I love to see them. And again, if you guys need any supplies, I left a link to our supplies resource page on the blog and you can head there to um, grab what you need. And we'll be back next week with more tutorials. So thanks for stopping in everybody. Um, look for the Rocking Weekend post to share all of your fun rocks that will be up tomorrow morning. Take it easy, everybody. Bye.